movie review again. This is a James Cagney movie that's a bit of a nod. It was made in 1959 and concerns the Irish War of Independence. Cagney plays a rather hardened IRA leader who also does a turn as a, a medical professor. I think somebody must have looked at the life of Richard Mulcahy, who was a key player in the Irish War of Independence and was a medical student, and but who never graduated as a doctor as he got to his final year and his role in the War of Independence became more important than his studies. He eventually became a general in the new Free State Army and the Chief of Staff for, for many years. In any case, it's an interesting movie. Cagney's hard-bitten, um, fanatical leader who doesn't know when to stop and when, vi when the violence is pointless is an interesting take on the situation. There's a bit of what might be politely called a wireishness going on in here, but it's not terrible. It's much better than you expect in some 1950s and 60s movies, and it never rises to the level of Darby O'Gill and the Little People or anything of that nature. Um... I've made my own trailer as there doesn't seem to be one I could find or anything, so I've chopped the movie down and the next bit thing you'll see will be three or four minutes of it to give you a flavour of it. Dublin, Ireland, a city at war. This is a story of men and guns. Hard men, brave men, violent men. The story of the war between the Black and Tans and the Irish Republican Army. It is 1921, a year of total war, a year of decision. Right. That means O'Leary's around here somewhere. The girl said they were both in on it. Ah, it was a girl, was it? Pretty, I'll wager, an eyes blue and innocent. We'll find her and stop her blabbing for good. Not you, my lad. You've only got till dawn. Put him in the lorry. It 
if the movie is a little bit twee in places, at least its naturalistic tone and the small scale of the fighting avoid the sort of bombastic nonsense you saw in The Devil's Own from the mid-1990s with Harrison Ford, where things got really quite silly and you it was almost like they were fighting a, a major war up there rather than low-level insurgency. The tragic outcome is built into the script and you can see it coming, but that doesn't lessen the blow of it. If it's well worth a watch, it's one of Cagney's lesser known movies uh, for a, an actor who everyone associates with a gangster. I suppose this is another form of gangster. There's a large number of cameos and small parts taken by British and Irish theatrical actors of the day, which adds to the amusement value of spotting who's who on screen. <laughs> 